Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you with PF6 minus ions Lewis structure. Now this is a chemical formula of hexafluorophosphate ion because there are six fluorine atoms over here. The term hexa is used. So to determine its Lewis structure, we will first need to look at the total number of valence electrons. Here we also have to consider the additional electron that this ion is accepting. Uh, the negative charge over here indicates that it is accepting an additional electron. So we have to um, add this electron to our total. So here phosphorus has five valence electrons. Each fluorine atom has seven valence electrons and we have to add this electron as well. So in total we have 48 valence electrons for this molecule. Let's place phosphorus atom in the center because it is less electronegative than the fluorine atom and all the fluorine atoms will be arranged around phosphorus atom like this. To show a bond between these atoms you can either use a line or a pair of electron. Each uh, single line represents a pair of electrons so I am going to use lines over here to make it look more neat. So placing 5 pairs of electrons or 5 bonds, sorry placing 6 pairs of electrons or 6 bonds between phosphorus and fluorine atoms we will be using up 12 out of 40, 48 valence electrons and we are now left with 36 more valence electrons. If you look here closely, each fluorine atom requires 6 valence electrons to have a complete octet and thus what we are going to do is we are going to place 6 valence electrons around each fluorine atom. So 6 into 6 we will be using up all our 36 valence electrons. And now you might ask how can phosphorus atom have 12 valence electrons in its outer shell. The thing is it is an exception to the octet rule and it can have an expanded octet and that is the reason it can hold more than 8 valence electrons in its outer shell. So this is the Lewis structure for PF6 minus. Do not forget to put brackets and mention the charge because we are writing a Lewis structure for the ion. Always remember to mention charge and put brackets whenever you are drawing Lewis structures for an ion. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.